In this video, I'm going to prove that segment AB is congruent to segment CD. I've got two segments crossing each other. And what I want to do first is I want to look at the picture. So let's make sure that we understand what the picture is telling us right here. So let's go ahead and look at the picture, okay? So if I look at the picture, <clears throat> I can see the tick marks here. AP is congruent to CP, and DP is congruent to BP. That's given to me. So I can start the proof off by saying that AP is congruent to CP. And I can say that BP is congruent to DP. Reason? Given. Now, if these really are congruent, <clears throat> then the measures must be equal. So AP is equal to CP in measure, and BP is equal to DP in measure. Definition of congruent segments. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to add the two equations together. So, AP plus BP equals CP plus DP. And so that's the addition property of equality. Now let's just look at the picture. What is AP <coughs> plus BP? Well, it's the it's the larger segment, it's AB. So this is AB. And what is CP plus DP? Well, it's the larger segment, it's CD. So what I just did right there was I used the segment addition postulate. I added two smaller segments to get a larger segment. Well, hey, if these two things are equal, these segments, then they must be congruent. And so that, again, is the definition of congruent segments. But that's exactly what I wanted to prove. So there's my conclusion showing up as the very last statement of my two-column proof. Life is good. Q E D. Quite easily done. God bless you, wherever you are today.